Hello world, and I hope it is a beautiful day wherever you are in it. Now, let's jump right in. This is a beginner tutorial in Blender where I'm going to be using Blender 4. I promise you, if you are using any version of Blender after Blender 2.8, you can follow this right along and you're going to be fine. Here, here's the thing about learning Blender, okay? Um, Blender is amazing, but if you're a beginner, Blender is a lot like drinking from a fire hydrant. I thought to myself, if Blender is scary, um, how do I make it so that beginners are not just unafraid, but courageous, right? Those, those are two different things. The absence of fear does not necessarily make one courageous. The conquering of fear is the thing that makes one courageous. And we're going to do that. Okay. So I thought, what, what is the, what is the least scary thing that I can think of? And the answer was a baby chicken. All right. And, uh, and I thought that is what we're going to build. Okay. Cause that is the least scary thing. And we're going to have some fun with it too. Okay. A lot of times you just delete the default cube. That's fine. You can just hit delete and it goes away. I'm going to hit one to go into front view. And then up here, take a look, watch my mouse. The arrow go, turns into a crosshair right there. Then if I click and drag like that, now I have two screens. Okay. And on this side of this, the screen, I'm going to hit numpad three. You can see I got a green horizontal line. I got a, I got a red horizontal line. This is front view numpad one and over here this is side view numpad three okay so on, on the left half of my screen I'm gonna hit shift a and I'm gonna add an image so this is my reference image and I'm gonna come over here and see where this is data right here this little triangle it, it, it looks like a little landscape a little mountain with a moon that's that's my Rorschach uh, hit opacity and you'll see these lines uh, right underneath it I'm going to G to grab and hit Z to move it up on the Z axis. And you can see I have a line right here and I want to match up this line with this line. Okay. And that's my baseline. Now we've, we've established a ground. Okay. Now I'm going to hit shift D to duplicate, hit enter to lock that in. And now take a look. If I select my duplication, I'm going to R to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z and that pirouettes it. Okay. So now we can see it in side view. Now you can see in front view, I have this over here. It's a little too far up. So I'm going to grab it on the X axis and move it back about there. Okay. You can, I mean, you can take it even, even further on the X. So now you can see I have two images and this is too far up. So I'm going to move it back on the Y axis, G Y. That's how you move stuff back on the axis. And this is, look, this is a 3D interface right here. We have three dimensions that we can mess with. We have Z, up and down, X, to and fro, and Y, uh, forwards and backwards. Okay? And if I middle mouse, people say, why do you need a middle mouse? Because you can do fancy things like this with my middle mouse. All I'm doing, and you can see right here, look right here, right here, my middle mouse button is highlighted, and uh, you can spin around and uh, do fancy things. Okay? this might take away from what I'm trying to see. So I want to put this in the back of, of what we're, what we're working on. And what I mean when I say that let's to add stuff to your workspace, you can just hit shift a. Okay. And let's add, uh, just a default cube. So you can see what I'm talking about. And now that you can see, you can see my reference images behind it. If I hit front, it jumps in front. So now let's come here and do the exact same thing. And let's select this one and we got opacity and we'll put that in the back as well. Now you say, well, hey, how, how am I going to be able to see my reference image if this thing is so solid? That's a great question. I love that you're asking these types of questions. These are the best, best kind of questions. You can come up here and this is something called X-ray mode and you can toggle it into X-ray. And now you see, I can very faintly see my chicken uh, behind my mesh. So right now you can see up here, this is unsaved. Let's save our work. Okay. So um, I'm going to come here. You can see how this is transparent right here, but this is not. It's because these are two separate sections right here. Okay. I got x-ray on over here. I don't have it on over here. So let's turn that on. All right. Now we're going to add two modifiers. Modifiers are your best friend. Come over here to this wrench, the blue wrench and click on modifiers. Okay. Now, if you're using a different version, when you hit 
add modifier, you should see all of them. In Blender 4, they're they're compartmentalized, and that's okay. That's that's okay. All right, we're not going to panic. Rule number one: don't panic. All right. So if you hit generate, you're going to see something called a subdivision surface modifier. Oh, you know what? What we're doing is not necessary. What we need to clean this up first. So. Uh, empty and cube not really very descriptive okay so with our cube let's call this baby chick with our empty right here if I turn it on and turn it off I can see this is our side reference so we'll call this side view reference and then this empty right here is our front view reference okay so we'll call this front view reference okay and this is you know with very in-depth compositions, you can have dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of different options, hundreds, thousands. It, it gets crazy. And if they're not properly named, you can get lost. You can lose yourself. All right. So let's apply this modifier. OK, but your C is not going to let you because we're in edit mode. So we got to switch back over in object mode and now hit this down carrot and hit apply. OK, so now when we hit edit mode, you're going to see we have more geometry. We have all these vertices, which we did not have before. We only had the corners. All right. So uh, with vertex mode selected, if you have face mode selected, you're going to be able to select the faces. If you have edge mode selected, you're going to be able to uh, the edges. We want vertex mode. All right. And then I'm going to select these and delete them. All right, so now I only have half of my composition, but that's exactly what I want. Tab into object mode. Let's add another modifier. And remember I said the mirror? So hit generate mirror. And look at that. All right, this is outstanding. We want clipping turned on right here. Super important that clipping is turned on. So now in edit mode, see I take these right here and I grab them this way. The mirror happens. You can see Blender is mirroring this for me because Blender's cool as hell. If you got here, save your work, control S. And we're going to really get, we're going to work to really get into the habit of saving work as often as possible. Let's select our side view reference and grab it in object mode and grab it up on the Y to bring it about, uh, about here. Now in object mode, we select our mesh and I'm going to grab it on the Z axis to bring it up. Okay, now I'm going to scale it with S to scale it down about there. Now I'm going to tab into edit mode and check this out. All I'm going to do is grab these two and I'm going to bring them up on the Z like that. And then I'm going to grab these two and grab them up on the Z like that. And I'm going to grab this one and bring it down a little bit. I'm going to grab these two, grab these back a little bit, bring this one up and in. Then grab these two, bring these back a little bit. You can see all I'm doing is kind of making my mesh the shape of my reference image. Okay. If you're super new to Blender, you want to, and you don't really know what buttons to push. There's, um, there's an acronym. It's called Rise. All right. And just remember to rise. R I S E. That's rotate, inset scale and extrude and in the early going those are the four big ones you're going to run into those again and again we've already used them a couple times but you know it's just it's just a neat way to remember how to how to work with some stuff okay so i'm going to hit the number three not numpad three to go into face select and i'm going to hit these two e to extrude okay and then we i'm going to go back into vertex mode i'm going to grab this one and bring it down Grab this one, bring it over, grab this one, bring it down. And now, and I'm going to go into top view and grab this in on the X, right? If it's too wide, you can just grab it and bring it in, right? That's shapes can look really good in one direction, but not that great in another direction. So we'll grab that. And then you can see here like this, right? Like we kind of want to bring, I'm going to go into vertex and I'll grab this in on the X like that. And there's just a little a little button hook of a tail. And now if we go up to numpad seven, we see we gotta bring this in like that. It was it was too far out. That, that's what I'm talking about. It might look really good in one angle, but it it just it doesn't play on the other angle. We're gonna E to extrude. Okay. 
like that. And then we're gonna S to scale it down like that. And I'm actually gonna G to grab to bring that back just to scotch. And then these right here, we'll grab these and I'm just gonna grab these to bring these out like this. And then I'll grab these two and bring them out like this. And you see it's, it's you know, it really is like a paint by number. Nicely done, you guys. Now let's go, to, let's hit the number three and we're gonna extrude and extrude here like that and then extrude again and then I'm gonna rotate it just to, just a scotch okay and then I'm gonna extrude again this time I'm gonna scale it in a little bit and rotate it again and you can see we're gonna build out this head all the way down to the beak and this is where it gets well, this is where it gets super fun. Okay, we're gonna extrude, we're gonna rotate, scale, rotate, extrude like that. Give it a little scale, extrude, rotate, and scale. And you see what I mean when I say rise, like these, these are, you're gonna be using the, these four commands a bunch over the course of your over the course of your 3d journey so you might as well get comfortable using them now and then you can come in here and just touch it up right like just paint by number use your reference as a guide it's not you know it's not scripture it's not something you need to take uh, too seriously but you know you have that option and then you can see here all of these are so far out it's like what the heck we don't we don't want these to be so far out they need to come in so we're gonna grab these on the x-axis and bring them in to kind of shape out our head right you got these back here I think we got a couple more we can grab these on the X and bring these in and now you see our our head is shaping up right and then if it's too if this is too wonky for you if you don't like that at all again you can right click and just smooth the verts out and it just well it does exactly that so what okay let's let's get this beat going right okay so we'll select these two and let's just extrude out we'll scale these in and then this is a really fun tool if you want to hit the smooth tool you can kind of smooth this out and that's that's kind of what we're looking for and now let's do it again you can see we're just building out the shape of our beak. And then we'll extrude again. Okay, and then now let us, let's make some legs. So we'll grab these two and we'll extrude these down. Scale these in, scale with S. Again, rise, rotate, inset, scale, extrude, ready? Extrude E, scale S. Everybody save your work. So let's zoom in and we'll come here and now let's make a leg. So you can see I'm selecting vertices here, vertex by vertex. The plural of vertex is vertices because, um, I don't know, the inventors wanted to confuse people. If you hit two, then we can get these edges. These are edges and three is a face, okay? So with this face selected, extrude that down and scale it out like that. We'll scale that down like that. Let's alt click and then just move these and then let's extrude down like that. And over here, we need to scale this in, extrude it again. And then let's go one more. Let's hit I to inset that. And then let's hit I to inset. And then let's hit I to inset with each one of these faces selected, extrude individuals okay pull this out and then we'll grab this one right here and we'll do the exact same thing if you can't see it just turn uh turn the just toggle the x-ray on nicely done everybody save your work uh these two inset bring these in and then grab them out a little bit like that and scale them down let's extrude these on the y like that there we go scale these in like so and make these little tiny little tiny bird wings now let's create oh this would be a fun one so let's take these three right here and inset and now go around uh, vert by vert and just create an eye socket all right now with these 
three. Before we do anything, let's relax these. Let's smooth these vertices out. Okay, so I'm going to extrude in. All right, so you got a little eye socket. With this loop cut, let's bevel, right? So we're going to bevel this and then just pull it out like that. It creates sort of a soft round, whereas before there was that jagged ness. So here's where we're at. We have a low poly chick, and in the next one, we will build out our eyeball. And then beyond that, we'll probably rig and we'll, we'll see if we can get this guy, you know, build a nice little run cycle or get a moving or hopping or peeping or, you know, just being a baby chick. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next one.